Good evening, my name is Garrett and welcome to Last Call. On tonight's Versus, we have Wild Turkey, Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey 101 coming in at a 50.5% ABV, no wage statement, versus Wild Turkey Rare Breed Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey Barrel Proof coming in at a 56.1% ABV, no wage statement. Quite a mouthful there. So, I've been doing a lot of Wild Turkey products just because they're pretty accessible and they're all really damn good bottles, in my opinion. But I've yet to put the 101 rye up against the barrel proof, so we're gonna be testing out nose, taste, and finally wrapping up with some market pricing. So let's get into it. Now, individual reviews over these can be found up above and down below, so check those out after this. And as always, subscribe to the channel, that'll Tons of videos are always coming out that'll notify you when things are showing up. Got a lot of videos coming up three days a week right now. Can't argue with that. And especially if you are a wild turkey fan, I got tons of comparisons going on with that. Okay. Well, let's go for color. Surprisingly, this is still a little darker, but not as much as the original rye. It is lighter. The, the 101 is lighter, but the uh, the barrel proof is fairly dark still. So let's start with the nose on the 101. So this is the interesting part on the 101. I feel like they've gone more into the medicinal herbal area with it. The other ones don't pull that across for me. And the ABV does show up a little stronger on this one. The other ones, yet again, I really don't get a lot of that going on. But it's just got that ethanol layer to it. It smells very warm. But you do get that oak and spiciness kind of playing around there. A little bit of a pepperiness. And this one compared to the other ones, I get a nice solid maple. Very sweet on that, like a sweet earthiness. But I love the maple that is showing up here. Reminds me of like Jack Daniels on how that maple comes across. You just got to get by that ethanol layer and it's, it's fairly pungent. Which is surprising again because all the others are so easy sipping. And even the nose doesn't come across that way. Maybe a little bit of citrus in there. But definitely the rye goes more herbal and medicinal versus just a nice solid herbal. Well, let's go for nose on the rare breed. Yeah, those are those are very different. Here you're getting a little more darker, richer, almost like a tobacco and dark chocolate. They are definitely playing a lot stronger here. Your herbal is spicy, yet it's not overpowering. The no real medicinal, just a, maybe a tick of it, but not really much at all. I love the caramel that's showing up, the bit of sweetness, the pepperiness, the spicy element in there. And there's a little bit of like an orange zest going on too. It's really, really great. This has so much more darker heft to it than the 101. And even though they're really close, I mean, essentially, besides being barrel proof, the ABVs are really close, 50.5 and 56.1. It's a 6% difference. And yes, the, you know, things are different when they're making them and stuff like that, but really, honestly, this has all the great characters to it. Okay, let's go for taste on the 101. Maple showing up right from the get-go. It's spicy, it's earthy, sweet. A bit of caramel in there. Mm. A little bit of a, that sweetness is coming through. ABV to show up a little bit on the taste. A little bit of like a red apple sweetness in there too. The maple, however, for me is really popping hard. But I love that mixed with the oak, a bit of spiciness and caramel. Coming across really great there. No arguments on there. It is warm. You can feel it kind of going down. 
So kind of keep that in mind going forward on this one. It's a warmer whiskey, mm. but it's not bad. It's just, especially coming off the heels of something like the, the 81 proof, like this is a different beast. Like it's got some more angriness going on in that bottle. And the standard one is just such an easy, smooth sipping experience. It really is crazy, the difference on that. Okay, let's go for the barrel proof. Mm. That is just damn good. You're getting that nice, rich darkness to it. The spiciness is there. The pepperiness is there. And actually coming off the heels of that, I'm getting a little bit of the maple in here now. It might be residual or my brain thinking that, but I'm getting a little bit of that maple, just a little tinge of it in there. The mouthfeel on the barrel proof version is so fantastic. It's warming, but not like burny warm. It coats the mouth really well. Mm. And it's a little thicker, but the spicy element is showing up. The rye is definitely more herbal than medicinal. You get a little tick of it there, but the I love that rye spiciness here. I'm gonna go back to this one here. And yeah, here you get the rye herbal and medicinal, where here you're just getting mostly the herbal. This is just such a more refined flavor compared to the 101. It is similar, but still a pretty good difference on the two. Neither of them are bad, but as always, it doesn't matter what you drink or how you drink it, as long as you enjoy it. The, the, all the character of what a rye whiskey from Wild Turkey can do is right here. So on that note, let's talk about market pricing because we all know market price is market price and it's always gonna vary. I can usually find this right around $26, $27. If I make it to a total wine, I can usually pick it up for like $21, $22. This one, however, is usually in about 60s to the $65 range, sometimes upwards to $70. And honestly, it's really gonna kind of boil down to what you're doing. I don't think there's anything wrong with this one. The thing that's really setting it apart difference between the two for me is just bringing across more of the herbal medicinal. It almost, it doesn't quite go as medicinal as bullet rye, but it's getting kind of a couple ticks closer to it. Where here, you're not getting as much as that of that medicinal. But the flavors on this one are just so much more refined and deeper and heftier. Where the 101 would probably be better made for mixers and not necessarily drinking it neat. Or this, getting all these amazing flavors that you can throw ice on it and, and chill it out a bit and really enjoy those flavors differently. Where here, I'm afraid that adding water to this makes it more angry. But again, I think this one's gonna be made more for mixers or this one's gonna be kind of just that easy sipping kind of night. Would I pay $70 when I could pay $20 here? Honestly, for me personally and what I do, yeah, this is definitely worth it versus the $26 from here. But that's my opinion. So yeah, there you have it. Wild Turkey 101 Rye versus the Wild Turkey Rare Breed Rye. If you have any questions about either bottle, let me know down in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer it. And if you have any specific bottles I should put up against each other, also let me know down below. Doing these kind of A-B comparisons is a lot of fun, and I love sharing these experiences with you at home. And as always, may your last drink of the night be the best one.